easy, James here. Now, before I start the video, I appreciate I look like crap, and the reason being is because I've got flu, and it's the worst kind of flu you can get. It's uh, man flu. You do not want to get man flu. <laughs> anyway, uh, and also I apologise for the lighting because I've done another bulb again. I tell you, if anyone's got these GU10 halogen fitting bulbs, they're crap, aren't they? They're rubbish, they keep blowing. Anyway, I haven't done a video for a while. Uh, reason being is because my camera charger decided to go bang. And uh, I managed to fix it, so it's all good now. I can make videos now. Um, just want to do a quick video, keep this quite brief. I don't want to sort of keep going on and stuff. And I'm going to sneeze, bear with me. Anyway, so on with the video. Basically, uh, what this video is about is uh, I've got a few emails and uh, comments, people asking uh, why don't my videos ever uh, go blurry, okay? Now they do occasionally, I've had the odd time where it hasn't focused and that's because I've started filming with autofocus on and forgot to switch it off. Uh, the reason why my videos don't go blurry, and you might see this other videos on YouTube where people sort of, they go to do a close up and the camera just goes blurry and it won't focus. Um, now the reason why I don't get that in my videos is because I don't use autofocus. The reason being is because I hate autofocus. So I prefer not to have autofocus enabled. That's why in my videos, uh, if I ever go to move the camera or do a close up shot, you'll find that I always have a cut in the video and that's because I've cut the video, got the camera lined up, turned, you know, got the camera in focus and then started recording again. Now I personally don't like autofocus. But there might be a few people out there that do like autofocus or that, you know, have to use autofocus. So if you're one of them people and you think, well, I don't really want to disable it, I'll show you something that you can do to make it work a little bit more effectively, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to grab some of these things, okay? Now these are cotton buds. I believe the Americans call these Q-tips and we call them cotton buds. But you know what they are, the little things that you stick in your ear and, you know, them. oh, nice. Um, yeah, you know what they are. So basically grab yourself a few of these okay and look at the lens on your camera so if you look at this camera lens you can see there's finger marks and all sorts all over that so what you want to do is just grab your uh, q-tip cotton bud whatever you call it and just give it a clean now what I would suggest doing is using a bit of what's called isopropyl alcohol or like 99% alcohol and um, I'm just going to dip a bit in here now and then just give it a clean with that now you can see it's it's wet on there but if I give this a good clean now, you'll see that it will begin to evaporate like almost instantly. And uh, there you go, look, you can see it drying up already. And that's good because that means it won't leave any streaks on your lens or anything. So there we go. So once you've finished, it should look a little bit like that. So there you go, you can see there's no marks on there. Nice and clean, nice and shiny. Now, if there's loads of crap on there, you want to use one of these things and clean the lens off and get it as clean as you can, okay? Because not only is it going to affect, affect video quality, if you're in a well-lit area and you've got loads of light coming into the camera lens, you're going to see that in the video. Um, but also it hinders autofocus, because the camera always has something that's more in foreground than anything else, and that would be the shit on the lens. Uh, and, you know, when your autofocus comes to change and it has to, you know, focus to its environment, it finds it a lot harder to do when there's crap on the lens. So just try giving it a clean off. So there you go, and again, personal opinion, I don't like autofocus, you might like it, you might have think, you know, I can't really do without it, uh, but one thing I will suggest is try it doing without it, try it if you can, obviously you've got the option, disable autofocus, and try and make a video without it, okay, it might take a little bit of more time to film a video, because you've got to keep pausing the camera and getting it into focus, but your viewers will appreciate it that much more when they haven't got to worry about you wasting time going, oh hang on, the, the camera won't focus, my throat's going. Um, you know, so, and it will save you time in the video as well. You might only save 10 seconds. You imagine if the camera goes out of focus, you know, three times in one video and it takes a good 5-10 seconds to, for it to actually come into focus. That's 30 seconds you've wasted of a video. When you could have just, you know, cut the video there, brought it straight in and you've saved time in the video. There you go. Anyway, I'm no expert or professional. I have, in fact, done a course on audio and visual, which I did pass and I've got a certificate for. Um, but again, like I say, I'm no expert, but just cleaning the lens of your camera can really help your autofocus work that much better. So there you go. I hope it's been a help. Uh, just a bit of a quick video there. 
I hopefully got some more videos coming up on the Technics turntables because I know you like the Technics videos so hopefully I should have a few more of them coming up um, but anyway any information in the description I don't have to worry about pointing to either side now because it's down there so I know description and uh, also comments down there as well so there you go hope it's been a help thank you for watching nice one practice and enjoy